Hi there and welcome. My name's Bunny. I'm from Pilates and Yoga with Bunny. This is going to be a 20 minute standing stretch. So really nice for you if you've been doing a lot of sitting down or a lot of driving. We're just going to get our body moved and lengthened. OK, so let's get started. We're going to have all 10 toes facing facing the front. And let's start by opening up through the upper body. We're going to reach those arms up and stretch stretch and pull up we're going to walk one way with the hand walk the other way and just get moving from side to side opening up the side ribs and just stretching as though you're trying to pull on a rope really reaching up and then bringing the hands all the way down to the sides crossing them over and reaching up again reaching up stretching and shrugging the shoulders up to the ears sliding them down and shrugging up and sliding down so begin to work with your breath so we inhale as we reach up and exhale to slide down inhale reach exhale slide we've got one more like that inhale reach exhale slide bringing the fingers to the temples and rotating around through the upper body. Just looking over behind you, keeping the pelvis nice and still and exhaling, rotating around the other way. Back to centre, keep that movement going. Try and think about this movement just coming from the, uh, from the, upper, the upper body here. Rotating. Feeling that really nice, nice stretch, that twist and moving just feels so good, doesn't it? Moving feels so good. Finding that center point. Bringing the hands now behind your, your back and pulling the shoulders away from the ears, pushing your, your ribcage up and forwards. Just see if you can tuck your tailbone and sliding those hands down past your tailbone and looking up. Have a little move from side to side here, just with the upper body. And then coming back round to our neutral position, taking the hands now, we're gonna interlink the hands behind us. So holding, Holding behind, taking hold of elbows if you can, if you can reach, or just shuffling them along. And then inhale, pushing the chest up, and exhale, rounding forwards, having a little bit of flexion through the spine here. So inhale as we come up. Now making sure that you're not hinging from the low, sorry, bending from the low part of your back. So keep your tailbone nice and tucked, and just think about that upper body opening. Exhale as we round over and down, keeping the tailbone pointing towards the floor. And then inhale as we, as we come up. Release and change the hands to the other side. So it might feel really awkward. My shoulders are always super tight. So this is really difficult for me. Yeah, so I'm walking those fingers, fingers along. That's it, and holding, holding on to my elbows. Pushing my chest forwards. Do the same thing again. So exhaling, rolling over. Just tucking that tailbone. And then curling back up again. Stacking each vertebrae up one at a time. Finishing up to the sky and again. Curling over. And tucking that tailbone, curling all the way up. Okay, and last one, curling over. And then all the way back up. Releasing the arms and lifting up through the shoulders, up and over. Really thinking about that good, good range through that, that upper body. And then going back to the reaches this time, but we're going to reach and bend. So reach and bend through that side body, pushing the hip away, having the hand so it's onto the thigh if you need it, or just letting that 
the hands come down to the floor, reaching over and we come up. So we inhale and we push over, stretching out through that side body. We reach, reach and come over. And again, reach, come over. Taking the hands, now we're going to cross the hands over, take them onto the outside of the thighs. And tucking that tailbone under, we're going to pull into the, the low part of the back and pull the shoulder blades apart. So you're actually going to push your knees into your hands, pull the upper back apart, engage your belly button up to the, the ceiling, reaching down through, through the heels and feel that really nice stretch across your upper back, letting the head hang. Change the hands to the other side. So crossing them over, sliding them down onto the side of the thighs and then tucking that tailbone and pulling, pulling apart. So you're actively pushing your knees into your hands as those shoulder blades feel like they're being released. Releasing and curling all the way back up, keeping a bend into the knees, scooping back up, stacking everything back up on top of each other. And then just move from side to side. So circle through the wrists, circle through the shoulders, keep this a little bit, little bit flowing and moving. So try and get your body to just do what it feels like it wants to do. So actually just bring some movement into the wrists, into the shoulders, into the sides, sort of moving the, the rib cage around and feeling like your spine is just free. So really just feel how it wants to move. Just move, okay. And then find that stillness once again, we'll reach the arms up overhead. We're stretched, we're interlink the fingers, we'll open up the side bodies even more this time as we stretch. We're going to try and lengthen, lengthen our leg bones. So feel like you're pushing your heels down into the floor as you really elongate your pelvis up to the sky, lengthening through your spine. This time we will take the arms wide and we hinge that body. So bottom's going to come back, bending the knees. Sliding the hands down the backs of the thighs and keeping nice and long through our spine with the eye gaze looking forwards. Just going to stretch out and begin to bring some warmth into the back of the legs. If it feels too strong for you, bring your hands onto your thighs. Go wrap your shoulder blades down and back and pin your elbows into your sides. So you feel that. A little bit of opening down the backs of the legs as we bring some warmth in there. And either using the hat, using the tummy muscles in the back and the glutes or pushing up on your thighs. We're going to squeeze and hinge back all the way to the top. Same thing again. We'll reach up with those arms. We'll spread those fingers wide and we'll come down this time. Maybe you come a little bit lower, sliding the hands down the backs of the legs. Starting to, starting to bring some warmth into the backs of the legs. Hands can come to, to shins now or stay with what you were last time. Just make sure you're not hyper, hyper extending through your knees. The spine should be nice and long. You want a long spine, not a rounded spine. So your tailbone is really pointing high. We're going to bend the knees and then reach up. Using those glutes again or pushing yourself up from your thighs, reaching up. Reach again through the sides, through those long arms as we hinge backwards. This time maybe you come down a little bit further but with no compromise through your spine. Maybe your hands come down to your ankles but your spine is still nice and long. See how far away your crown of head can come from your tailbone. Your weight's still rooted back into your heels, but we have an engagement through the, through the feet, through ball of, ball of foot as well. 
Bend the knees now quite heavily and let the chest come down onto the knees. So as the tailbone stays high, we still create length. Maybe now your hands can come to floor if that feels good for you. Taking a couple of breaths here and feeling, feeling that lengthening through the, through the back of the body. Just letting the head come down. And then lifting one heel, lifting the other heel, just shifting that, that tailbone from side to side now. You actually move the body, you move from side to side. Finding stillness and then tugging that tailbone once again, rounding this time. So we pull the tummy muscles in, we tuck, 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 and we stack everything up on top of each other, nice and tall. This time we roll down, so we inhale to prepare, we exhale, start to roll the spine, one vertebrae at a time, curling over, keeping that nape of the neck high to the ceiling and soft bend into the knees, with tailbone tucked, we stretch and we roll, we come down, And then curling back up again, tucking that tailbone, squeezing the glutes, pulling that navel to ceiling, nape of neck high, all the way up. And reach the arms tall. And again, this time slide the hands down the thighs, so we round, round over, stretch. Can you feel each vertebrae moving? one at a time, really tucking, tucking under, opening up through the spine, keeping that soft bend into the knees and then rounding as you stack everything on top of each other once again. Placing your hands on your hips, we're going to take a step forwards with one leg and bringing the toes towards the nose now. Bringing those toes up. Really feeling like those toes are pulling up as we stretch and add some length into the back, back of the leg. Pushing that tailbone backwards, bending the opposite knee and imagining that you're sitting back in a chair. Try not to twist twist the pelvis and keep those toes pulled in and the spine is nice and long. Feel that nice stretch down the back of your leg. Hinging up, squeezing through that glute to lift you up, changing sides. So we step, the toes pull towards the nose. We engage the front of the shin and feel that that lengthening through the back body. Then we hinge backwards, so you push your tailbone back, keeping that nice long, long straight spine. Moving forwards, lengthening through the back of, back of the leg. Just holding for a few breaths there, making sure that that supporting knee is staying neutral and not rolling in. Squeeze that opposite glute as we come up, finding that high point and stepping in. Taking the hand now to the ankle, so we bring the foot up behind, we pick up the knee and we slide the hand down and hold onto the foot. We push the hip forwards and under, stable through that standing knee, we want both hip bones to be facing the front and teasing that heel up towards the bottom, giving a stretch into, into the quad. Just try and keep, keep balance, but use support if you need it. And if you find it really difficult to um, hold on to the foot, then use a yoga strap or a, a belt or a resistance band or scarf or something like that. Place that foot down, 
with control and coming up through the other side. So basing the foot, lifting the foot, sliding the hand down, holding the ankle, okay, and then finding that, that balance there. Yeah, bringing that heel towards you and aiming to keep the knees as close as you can together. Just finding that, that stability through the pelvis, stability through the standing leg, avoiding locking that knee, trying to keep both your hip bones so they face the front. And then releasing that foot. Go back to the other leg and we're going to turn out through the hip. So turning out, yeah, so try and really get that thigh bone to come out to the side. We're just going to hold that for a couple of breaths, feeling that, that glute start to activate where you're pulling that knee around. Then we take the foot in and we're going to do yoga tree. So to get our hips nice and open. So you can either keep your foot on the floor, okay, and take here. You can either slide your foot up to the inside of the shin, or we can take hold and we can bring that foot up higher into the inside of the thigh. And in that yoga tree, we can have our hands onto our hips, really engaging through the standing leg, trying to keep our pelvis tucked. So your choice, just make sure that the, the foot isn't on the knee. You can reach your arms out to the side or all the way up. And I'm embracing the wobbles today. Reach. Placing that foot away from the thigh and interlinking the fingers and drawing that knee now up to your chest. Balance is clearly not my strong point today. Pulling that knee into the chest, you can hold on to the front of the shin like I'm doing, or you can hold onto the back of the thigh. Release that foot. We do the same thing with the other side. So rooting through that standing foot, we're going to turn out. Just get that external rotation through the ball and socket joint of the hip. And just holding that for a couple of breaths. Getting that glute nice and engaged, preparing you for that yoga tree. So then we lift, we keep the ball of the foot on the floor, option one, we lift here, or we take the foot up into the inner thigh and work on a yoga tree there. And hands to hips, hands wide or hands up. So you choose whichever is right for you today and whichever feels good. You're really trying to tuck your pelvis under, drawing that thigh of the standing leg up as we stretch and open up through the hip. Releasing that foot and then taking knee to chest. So we hold and stretch. Pulling that knee in nice and tight. Just working on that balance through the standing leg as well. Placing that foot down to the floor, we reach up. We stretch up and away, tucking our tailbone and opening up through our front body, taking the fingers up and the eye goes up to the fingers. Let the hands come wide, taking the hands into the small of the back, pushing the chest forwards as we bring the elbows back, tucking the tailbone and opening up through the chest as we look up and forwards, keeping the glutes squeezed on it's getting everything open there through that front body. Can you move the elbows a little bit closer together? Reaching up. 
and bring your hands down to your to your heart center as we rotate we go back to those rotations just looking over the shoulder keeping the hips stable keeping the weight nice and even as you just work on that that mobility got one more each way we inhale and exhale drawing that shoulder blade down your back back to center and the other way bringing your hands down by your side giving your arms a little bit of a shake and your legs a little bit bit of a shake shoulders down and back can be a bit more free wobble your hips around and thank you for joining me so I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you all again soon. Thank you very much.